Coastal System Stations present the new Mark 8 Mod 1 Seal Delivery Vehicle. This versatile, battery-powered, wet submersible provides greatly enhanced capabilities to naval special warfare units. Responding to the needs of the fleet, Coastal System Station engineers have developed a vehicle which meets or exceeds operational requirements for the clandestine transport of SEALs and their equipment through hostile waters anywhere in the world. This SDV provides an unprecedented capability for mission support for insertion and extraction of SEAL units, reconnaissance, and underwater demolition strikes against ships, submarines, or structures. The improved SDV has a simplified and sturdy hull composed of a mid-body weldment, bow, afterbody, top skins, and canopies. The mid-body has four bulkheads, bottom and side longitudinals, a strong back, and a bottom skin. Marine grade aluminum provides excellent resistance to saltwater corrosion and exceptional after weld strength required for at sea lifting using the SDV's integral single point lift capability. A positive lockdown system secures the SDV to the host platform during dry deck shelter operations. The simple thermoplastic bow design is strong, easy to build and install, and acts as the sonar system's acoustic window. The afterbody is built of a strong composite material comprised of a foam core and a vacuum form fiberglass skin. Four fins enhance through water stability. Top skins and canopies are made of the same strong composite and are easily installed and removed for access to the interior compartments. Four canopies feature three-point roller tracks and emergency safety release pins which allow the canopies to be jettisoned. This hull construction provides an efficient and acoustically quiet hydrodynamic shape to minimize drag and increase both speed and range. The SDV electrical system has been modified to enhance performance. Mark 89 silver zinc batteries contained in four watertight aluminum boxes power the propulsion and electronic subsystems. 100 battery cells provide 150 volts to the propulsion motor and 20 cells provide 30 volts for the various electronic subsystems. The placement of these heavy batteries results in a low center of gravity, increasing dynamic stability. The top surfaces of the urethane coated battery box lids serve as the crew decks and provide some of the many tie down points located throughout the cargo space. An 18 horsepower, 150 volt brushless DC motor and dual motor controllers are integrated into a single canister. The motor bolts to the afterbody and is covered with the motor shroud, while a fixed pitch aluminum alloy propeller attaches directly to the motor shaft. The propulsion subsystem is simple, easily maintained, and provides maximum efficiency and reliability with minimum noise generation. The SDV Mod 1's design significantly exceeds the operational requirement thresholds. For example, top speed is exceeded by 50% and maximum range is twice the specified requirement. The SDV is controlled by the pilot using a control stick or the co-pilot or mission commander can quickly install a control stick if necessary. Bow planes in conjunction with the stern planes control the SDV's operating depth. The bow planes are easily replaced and solidly linked through a torque tube to the control stick. The stern plane and the rudder, which controls vehicle heading, are activated by push-pull cables attached to the control stick. Another significant improvement has been made in the ballast and trim subsystem, which maintains neutral buoyancy and trim. Two closed ballast tanks, operated by gravity and air pressure, are located amidships. Neutral buoyancy is achieved by flooding the ballast and trim tanks, and the vehicle is trimmed by transferring water forward or aft from one tank to the other. 
An open ballast tank, open at the bottom to the sea, is created by enclosing the void between the two ballast and trim tank cylinders. Airlines and valves at the top of the tank carry pressurized air to blow water from the open ballast tank to bring the SDV to the surface or vent air from the tank to flood it for normal submerged ballast conditions. This SDV Mod 1 ballast and trim subsystem is simple, reliable, and much easier to maintain than the one in the Mod O. Two composite fiber wrap flasks hold a total of 1,300 cubic feet of air at 3,000 PSI. This air is used to operate the ballast system, to open and close hull drain valves, to supply SDV operators and passengers with auxiliary breathing air, and to raise and lower the mast. The pilot and co-pilot have identical independent control and display units, or CDUs. The CDUs are computer driven and contain the hardware and software to interface with and control the various subsystems. Six buttons at the top of the display access different display pages. A pilot page, an obstacle avoidance sonar, or OAS, page, a graphical waypoint page, and other pages which provide control or system monitoring. Buttons at the bottom of the display are used to select options or to input data. These identical displays provide redundancy for increased mission reliability. Use of many commercial off-the-shelf computer components in the CDU simplifies maintenance and reduces logistics support requirements. Information from the Doppler Navigation Sonar, or DNS, is presented on the pilot page. This page provides information needed to maintain depth and heading and pilot the SDV from one point to another. The OAS page contains information from the obstacle avoidance sonar and provides the co-pilot information needed to locate navigation aids or targets and maneuver around them. The power distribution panel is located between the pilots and co-pilots control and display units. Power from the electronics battery is fed to this panel and 10 switches at the top activate individual electronic subsystems. Two bottom switches control propulsion motor speed and direction. An intercom permits verbal communication and mission coordination between the pilot and co-pilot. A docking sonar provides accurate range and bearing information for rendezvous with the host platform and an underwater telephone allows submerged communications with the host platform during the rendezvous operation. The radio antenna, housed within the strongback, is raised manually to provide reliable, secure HF or UHF surface communications between the SDV operators and other support platforms. Also housed in the strongback, is a pneumatically operated mast providing a mounting for the GPS antenna. Raising the mast allows the SDV to acquire a GPS fix as a navigation aid, but without risking compromise by completely surfacing. A periscope is a planned future upgrade to the SDV and will be mounted on the mast to produce a video image on the CDU. Both system information and CDU video images may be recorded during a mission. Retention of the mission history enhances both tactical analysis and subsystem evaluation and troubleshooting. The SDV Mark 8 Mod 1 has been designed by Coastal System Station engineers to integrate an existing proven design with state-of-the-art technological upgrades to produce a vehicle unmatched for capability reliability, and simplicity. The SDV Mark 8 Mod 1 is a major advance and provides the U.S. Navy with an unsurpassed covert operations asset. U.S. Navy SEALs now have an exceptional vehicle which can penetrate deeply into hostile waters, carry out a variety of demanding combat missions, and return them safely to their host platform. <laughs>